Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zidane, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. Ten. Please forgive me. Access key card in the parking garage. Are you kidding? Uh, I need to get back there before XO tears me a new one. All, all right, I'll hold down the fort. Take the tunnel, it's way faster. Yeah, yeah.
Hmm. Check it out. Absolutely. Only the best men. You know it. General Zayden keeps coming down here to check out the rest of Jimmy. You're in. Good work, 47. Now to locate General Zaydan. So what did he do? all there is to it. Probably got you cool. Vibration. Try to rat us out. Ask the captain. The only way this guy was not going to become general was if he took a dump on the flag. <laughs> I hear you, brother. I tell you, I don't care what anyone says, that Satan is not all he's cracked up to be. He likes to pretend that he's solid or something, but he's just a guy with a shiny uniform and an ego to match. You got that right. That is General Reza Zaydan, Keeper of the Peace. are going to regret this. Me? What about you? You were saying a bunch of nasty shit. You agree. You agree. If anybody's listening, that's just as bad. Okay, just shush, shush, just shush already. He's a busy man. Chances are he didn't hear anything. Just be cool. Be cool. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <clears throat> no harm done. No harm done! Are you completely out of your minds? You think you can just disrespect your superiors without consequences? Shame on you. I should have you both court-martialed. <laughs> Target Me down. Here. Move on to Klaus Strand. Attention. This is First Lieutenant Libyard. We are on full alert. General Zayden is dead. I repeat, General Zayden is dead. I am assuming command and issuing a full gag order until 
the circumstances behind the incident have been determined. Any leakage could endanger the whole operation oh. and will be considered treason. Yeah, all in a day's work. Stand by for further orders. Over and out. Honey, not Wanda. Listen, that was one time. Hey, soldier. How are you? Desperate to get a cameraman for an interview with Claus Hugo Strandberg. Uh, Strandberg, the, the banker. Do something? Do you ever watch the news? Anyway, I tap him on the back, show him my press pass, and the guy is so relieved that he just pays me a month's salary up front. Of course I'm not gonna do it. There's no way I'm getting near that place. Besides, I've got all this nice free money, and the dunce doesn't even know my real name. Would you believe I said my name was Finley? Right, so I'm at the Shisha place down near the bazaar. Whenever you can sneak out, come and join me, okay? Smoke is on me. Oof, some pretty strong stuff in those pipes. I don't know if it's because I'm not used to Thank you. 
up. I'd like to see some more of Marrakesh. Dangerous. Uh, this is invite only, sir. Hired. Do something? Hello, recruit. setting off explosions. <laughs> Stop right there if I was you. Enough is enough. Oh, come on, here. why are you disguised as a soldier? Why the hell are you dressed up like that? You brought this on yourself, you... Strandberg has agreed to an exclusive interview with celebrity GNN reporter Pan Kingsley, no doubt to enrage the public even further. This could be a way inside the lockdown consulate, and the replacement cameraman, a local freelancer, is yet to arrive.
Transponics equipment. We never expected something like this. We're not Denmark. Don't mention it. Nobody wants it. Side of the story. Tyler, I got this. Right. right. And you, aim and shoot. This is it, guys. You made it. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. A oh, Pam Kingsley. GNN News. My name is Pearson. Mr. Strandberg is ready for you. Follow me, please. I must say I was surprised that Consul Olander authorized this interview. Adding fuel to the fire, I should think. But that is not my call. Nevertheless, you must understand that the building is on high alert. If the situation evolves, you will be evacuated without protest, yes? Well, let's just hope it doesn't come to that, Ms. Pearson. Try and use a fisheye lens. It looks really young and fresh. You made it. Come on in. Come in, good. Pam Kinsley, a pleasure. Mm. I watch your show all the time. You're even one. Lovely in the flesh. <laughs> and this is... Uh, Tyler Clark, producer. And this is our cameraman, Finley. Tyler and Finley. Gee, thanks. Splendid. Well, <clears throat> let's do this, shall we? Where do you want me? Uh, the light is nice over here. Not that I want to tell you boys how to do your jobs, good heavens. Well, right here is fine, Mr. Stramberg. Sit down, make yourself comfortable, and we'll be ready in no time. Oh, no, no, please, please. Call me Klaus. Okay, I think we're set. Roll when you're ready. Camera rolling. Hey, when you got a sec, think you could do something about the lights? Upstairs somewhere? Thanks, bud. Okay, we're ready if you are, Mr. Access Denver. to the consulate and first row seats for the interview. Nicely done, 47.
compromised. But I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Comp? But... His plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. People die, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. It seems like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus, someone knows about us. There was a pattern and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. How much was there? Money. <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fannin. Information on all of our assets and operatives. Like you. Dig a trench, Director. And make it a deep one. Because none of you are safe anymore. <laughs>